Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Today I want to talk about the donkey's ear again. Believe it or not, I figured out that donkey's ear is actually a very handy jig to have. This is my donkey's ear. I, my last video showed this, how I made it, and I used it on the miter saw. But it's a multitasker. You know me, I love multitaskers. So I thought I'd show you real quick how I'm going to use this on my table saw setup. And I can make this joint right here. If you look, it has these two pieces here plus this, that piece there, three pieces. And it comes together very nice and neat with no gaps. This is actually a pretty good joint. I'm sure everybody out there is familiar with it. But I can make this joint in just a couple of minutes. Let me show you how I did this. First thing I did is I made sure that the thickness of the piece I was going to use is the right thickness, is the same thickness as the thickness of my dado stack that I always keep in my table saw. It's a quarter inch. So I have quarter inch material just laying around that I can use anytime I want to make this kind of joint if I ever decide that I want to make this joint for whatever reason. It's a good strong joint, lots of glue surface. And this thing just will not come apart once you glue this together. So, and if you're into box making, you can't make a much stronger joint than that, really. So anyway, how do I make, how do I make this joint? Well, this is the beauty of using the table saw instead of using my miter saw. This actually, if I set my fence up to the right place, then I can take this and I can run this through here this way and I am in complete control of moving this to, so that it's setting so that the tooth just barely skims the surface that is my contact surface for judging, judging the depth of cut on these. So how do we do that? Let's make the miter joint then I'm going to take you over here to my other table on my other table saw which has my quarter inch stack in there and again it's already has that in there uh so all i have to do is move my fence over and i'll be able to go from this saw to that saw instantly with my fence if you go back and look at my table saw setup and i'll leave a link to it and look at that you'll see how this all makes sense and this shows you how i can do a joint like this in just a couple of minutes so first thing we want to do is let me show you how i make the uh, miter part of the joint first so if I set this is my edge right here so I'm going to set the bottom edge of this board even with that and up against my fence like so and then when I'm sure I have everything in place I just clamp it I just clamp it down and now I'm ready to make that cut. I raised my blade so it's high enough to go all the way through. Let's make this cut first. All I have to do is make sure that I'm holding the piece here gently and I'm holding everything against the fence when I go through. And I now have my bevel, my miter cut, perfectly set. So now let's put that groove in there. This is already set up. All I had to do was adjust the height. So now I bring this over here. And I'm going to set this, see if I can show you, so that this is flat on the tabletop now, like so. And now that I have this all set like this, and everything looks like it's touching properly, I put this back on there. Now, let's go over here and make this cut. So if I set this right up here like so, I'm gonna go in a little bit further. Ah, that looks pretty good. And now I'm ready to make the groove cut. And 
And there we go. I now made this cut. And it's a perfect joint, just like this one. So if I put this together, now these are two different dimensions. But if I made, if I had two of these that were identical on the thickness, instead of like this, these are not the same. So they're not going to line up on the miter. But I did these two at the same time before I did the video. And I just did that same process to come up. With this joint right there. And I don't think you could ask for a much better joint than that. And as you can see, I'm able to actually do that joint pretty fast. I did this one in just a couple minutes here, as you can see. So, guess what? My donkey's here is a multitasker. I can use it here on this table saw. I can use it on my dado stack table saw. I could even use it on the bandsaw, and if I wanted to, I could probably set it up to use it either on my on my belt sander, and who knows what else I can do with it. I haven't figured all those things out yet, but I will. But I wanted to show you this real quick and let you know that it is a multitasker, and I love multitaskers. So, anyway, I hope this video, if you have any questions about it, comments, uh, observations of what to do uh, let me know I think I pretty much explained everything here so uh, hopefully you understand how we came up with this joint real quick and I could have done this without the groove and just had a miter joint and used a different type of technique to reinforce the miter joints if I wanted to but I thought I'd just show you how I could use this on multiple locations so now you've seen me use this same exact donkey key on my miter saw on my table saw and on my dado stacks table saw so anyway uh, i think this is really cool i love multitaskers as i said so anyway i hope you like this video i hope you learned something here if you did hit that like button it lets me know that i'm doing the right thing um most importantly though please come back again because we're nowhere near done thanks i hope you got something out of this we'll talk to you again soon bye